Right, you know what's coming, don't you? This is what it's all about. If you can't see it in the dark. It's one of the tins of peaches. The final instruction on my instructions here is tin over the batter. So basically you open the tin up and just chuck it all over the top of the batter and whack it in the oven. That is the plan. So let's get this tin open. Make sure I'm in shot here or else it's a bit stupid filming it. It's stupid filming it anyway, but I thought it had to be done. Actually they look alright. They smell like peaches, right? Tin over the batter. Pour the tin over the batter. How's this gonna go? Is that with the with the liquid or not? It's gotta be in there. Uh, we're pouring, we're pouring. We have poured it over. I'm gonna spread that around a little bit because it's in heaps in places. Oh, well, that'll have to do. We've poured it over. Okay. And that is allegedly how to make a peach cobbler. So now it goes in the oven for about 45 minutes. That'll cost a bit on the electric, doesn't it? The oven has heated up to a running temperature because it's just gone click and the light's gone out. So, yeah, we're going to be putting that in the oven now. Right, let's get it in the oven. Uh, what time is it? Oh, that's all right. Perfect. So around about half past eight. That is a relatively accurate clock on the oven for a change. Right, in the oven it goes for three quarters of an hour. Uh, I'm putting it in the center of the oven. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do. It'll start off there. So, there we go. Uh, <laughs> we're having a go at a peach cobbler. Right, what we have in the corner of the kitchen here is a habitual thing. I don't know why it's ended up that way. But this little corner, the bit of the wall here, um, that's all falling off the wall, the skirting board, uh, that, that's where we put uh, stuff to be licked out. So we're going to put stuff to be licked out from down here. That's a bit of the butter. That's quite warm actually. There's very little there, man. You might as well have a go at it if you're so inclined. Save me having to do too much washing up. Sometimes we uh, need to assist. Shall I hold that? There we go. Go on. Is it all gone? It's good enough. And da -da 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 -da. you're going to even want that. It's not. It's a bit powdery, I expect, with the flour and all. But it's got butter and sugar in, so you should go for it. Yeah, he's going for it. lick from the top down bear or else you're going to get all over your firm. <laughs> top down. Doing a pretty good job there mate. It's just a little bit just there. I think. of waiting to see what happens now. <laughs> it's just uh, reflections, isn't it? 
Yeah, we'll uh, wait and see what happens. Okay, I think we're gonna call it quits and see what we've got. <laughs> A lot of steam is what we've got. Just let the camera recover from the steam. Let's give this a go. Let's try and get an eight. Let's see where we stand. I think I could have done with a bit more, actually, a bit more uh, time. It's not quite as brown as uh, it might be. Maybe it should have been on the top shelf. Oh well. Um, yeah. Well, there we are. Let me just uh, get the camera sorted. Is that what's that on the top there? Yeah. Yeah, it could it could have been browner on the top. You know, on the edge here is uh, about the right colour, I think. But we're not gonna we're not gonna push our luck. I think we'll uh, leave it at that and see where we stand. Uh, we're going to have a taste once it's cooled down a bit. It's just way too hot right now. All right, we've left that there for quite a while actually. We've got to involved with something else on the television, so we're just going to scrape a bit out with a, a large spoon here. Right? That's the, stuck to the <laughs> stuck to the dish quite uh, quite a bit. Let's have a reasonable amount. No prizes for presentation. And we're just going to have it on its own like that. We shall give it a go. Actually, we might as well <laughs> to the first. The first bite on uh, on camera, and uh, you can see how how bad it is from my expression. That's um quite edible, quite edible. It's still quite warm. Yeah, that's all right. I might have to uh, go and sit and eat that. <laughs> um, peach slice cobbler. Courtesy of the morons. It's not bad, actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm having more. I shouldn't really, because I'm quite stuffed. But uh, that's, uh, I'm going to have the same amount again actually. I'm going to be ill. Well, I already am, so I've got nothing to lose, am I? But uh, that's um, jolly alright, actually. Did I say I gave the other tin to my mother? <laughs> I forced her to have a, a salvage tin of uh, peach slices. Um, but she said she would have them, so... Um, but, uh, yeah, perhaps I should have kept them, because this is jolly splendid, actually. The the best bit, and I remember this from uh, years ago, when I, when I, you know, did it before, and when somebody else did it for me, the best bit is the sort of crusty bit around the edge. And uh, if I put that maybe on the top shelf, the whole lot on the top would have been kind of like that, and that is the best bit. But it's uh, very palatable. I'm, uh, I'm having this lot again. I'm going to be well stuffed. Anyway, enough of the the peach sliced cobbler. It is. Oh, that seems really hard. Right there. It is very nice, and uh, we have enough for one or two more. Yeah, very nice indeed.